we're going to move on to the next section, which we're going to talk about. Uh, in this section of, of the webinar tonight, we're going to review running static sequences uh, before and after your show. So basically, uh, what we want to do is we have a static sequence that we want to play uh, at the beginning of your show and at the end of your show. And I want to show you how uh, you can set one way to set that up, and uh, during in between conversations, we the one thing that's important to remind people is that uh, there are always more than one way to do things in X lights and X schedule. There's uh, so if you have a way and it works, that doesn't mean uh, that somebody else can't come up with a way that worked for them as well. So uh, the the this is the way that I found worked very well for what my intended purposes were, which was I just wanted to play a static sequence for cars that were waiting at the end of the night uh, or the show ends and I'm not home to extend it if somebody's still out there. I wanted them to know that the show's over and it, it I have so I created a sequence and I'll I'll bring this. I'll bring this up real quick. So uh, what I did was I, I physically created a sequence called uh, static. Static time? I hope this is it. Yeah, this is it. And if I render this, basically uh, basically what I did was I, I put, I, I turned on my icicle lights, I turned on my roof outline, my windows, uh, I turned on uh, my mega tree, and I didn't do heavy duty sequencing. All I did was something that was simple and basic. But I wanted I wanted people to know that whenever they saw this, that they clearly knew exactly what was going on. So so basically, I had the trees going. I have my columns on on the matrix down to the bottom here. I have I have specific text, and I've actually shared this before. I'll probably put this into a format that other people may be interested in but I what I did was this plays before um, and after my show and it's nothing fancy all it is is everything's at a low level I put sparkles on things you have this snow coming down on the matrix panels uh, and and I'm sending the message to people tune in to happy holidays Merry Christmas and it tells you the the show hours and the times and so forth and so this is one FSEQ um, that continually plays during my off hours. So this is three minutes long, and it says gives my show hours, Sunday through Thursday, 5.30 to 9.30, Friday and Saturday, 5.30 to 10.30. And then after three minutes of them seeing this, they realize, oh, okay, I, I just read the sign. It says the show's over after 10.30. This is my static sequence that I want to run at the start of my show, before the start of my show, and after the end of my show every night. So here's what we're going to do. This is where priority comes in handy. And so uh, going into X schedule, the name of this one was called pre-post show sequence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new playlist. And this playlist is going to be called static show. And I'm going to add an FSEQ. I call this pre pre and post there it is so pre and post show sequence for new year's hours uh, i have one for new year's hours i have one for christmas hours uh because during new year's i i bumped it up some more so now i've created this static show uh it is a three minute long sequence just like i said and what i'm going to do is i'm going to now schedule it so this is where priority comes in handy and so I'm going to be mindful that I'm going to run this every single night. Um, and if, if let's say, let's say keeping keeping in mind it, if you watch the earlier videos that we had a Monday, Wednesday, Sunday schedule. We had a Tuesday and Thursday. We had a Friday and we had a Saturday here. So Fridays and Saturdays, I, I usually let it run longer. So I can still schedule my static show longer on different days and I can create a schedule for that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with the Sunday through Thursday. I'm going to get rid of Saturday and Friday here. And I'm going to say, I want this to start when the sun goes down. So that's usually 1700 or 5 p.m. And I want to run this for one hour. I can run this. I can run this as long as I want to because I'm not 
doing crazy stuff with the, with the lights. I'm not, you know, flash, flash, flash. It's not full intensity to me. I just want people to get the message, oh, Merry Christmas. Here you can see the lights a little bit, but it, the show's over. So I just, I want to run this for 30 minutes before the show starts and an hour after the show starts. But this is where it gets confusing. I could schedule it for 30 minutes before only and then schedule it for to start at a certain time later. I could take make two schedules. But whenever I use priority, I come down here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from 5 to 4. Okay? And as soon as I do, now it's after 9.30 here. So right now, my static show would be playing. And this is how, this is how you know that if you schedule it correctly, and it's tonight's Tuesday here, uh, you know that your show is going to work on the time that you say it's going that you want it to work. Uh, so one of the other things now we've done Monday through or Sunday through Thursday. Let's add our other schedule. Let's schedule this again. We're only going to schedule this Friday and Saturday. And we do our normal. 1700 and we want it to end at t now now we want it to run until 2330 or 1130 at night or however late you want it to run to uh, I, I and X schedule does run overnight you can change this to 0 0 30 and it will go until midnight 30 X schedule is smart or intelligent enough to understand what you mean by that but we're going to give this a lower priority and so in a moment here uh, we'll go ahead and give this a priority of four. That means if there's another schedule with a higher priority, it's going to run instead of this one. So why don't we prove this by going to our Tuesday schedule here and see Tuesday and Thursday. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to edit the schedule and I'm going to say, hey, you know what? Let's run to 2230 or let's run to uh, um, what time is it? Nine. 40. Let's run to um, 21.41. Save. And reset all schedules. It's already started. See how it says now? If I reset all schedules, look what happens. Now my show is playing, but see how the static show only, and this is our weekday one, it says now and it's highlighted in yellow. Well, the actual truth is whatever's green is playing. So now you can see where priority, and that's the only difference in these two shows. They're scheduled at exactly the same time. The difference, though, is it says, see here, it ends at 21.41 p.m. is when the, when the schedule, or 21.41 is whenever it ends. And this one ends. Oh, see how it turned from green? Now it's now it's 2141 or 941 but it's still green that means it's playing it but it's playing it still because we didn't interrupt we didn't do a hard end we did a graceful ending so when this gracefully ends here in the next well we have uh let's see time left uh time left is 1 minute or I'm sorry 1 minute and 16 seconds so in the next minute and 14 seconds it's going to shut off that schedule and then it's going to resume back into our static show which is what it would do at the end of the night in this instance specifically like tonight this exactly this is exactly what would be happening so um what's really nice about this the 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 priority is the fact that you can have something in the i don't want to call it the background you can have something prepared for later on and being a low priority, it will never overtake the show that you're currently running. So if you're running a schedule right now, if you're running your schedule and you're trying to do something else with your schedule, you want to add something in, change the priority to lower. It, it won't interrupt anything that you're doing currently. And that's immensely helpful if you don't want any stutters going on in your show. So um, in about 22 seconds, uh, it's going to flip over here and hopefully, hopefully X schedule will will not make me look bad <laughs> but usually it usually it, it just freaking works would it also play the background 
It is playing the background right now. Yes. Any there we go. So now that was the end of the the final song played off of the last schedule. Now we move directly into the final static show, and and it's playing in and as well. Just like I said earlier. Um, well, I may have said this in the break, but uh, so here's an example. I was out recording with the camera, and uh, this is the background sequence playing between songs. And you can see that, that the background sequence continues to play. And after the song's over, the background sequence would play. Uh, I actually have... Uh, apologetics. Here it is. So if you watch this, it, this song here, this was the night I was filming after we got all the snow last week. So here you see the song and the schedule's playing, the schedule's playing, just like you saw a second ago, the schedule's playing, the schedule's playing, the schedule's playing. This is the end of the song. We've, it, it, don't pay any mind to the time on the video, but the schedule, it's over. And look what happens. This is the background sequence or this is the static sequence coming on because now we're after the hours of 9.30. At 9.30, at the end of the show, the 9.30 schedule for the background, the lower priority, picks up and plays. And that's exactly what happened here in this video. So I knew that whenever uh, this was the last video that I filmed for that night because this, as soon as static came on, um, then I knew it was time to go inside. This, this is a, a, a very classic example of adding static into your show and having it for before and after. So again, this plays starting earlier than any other schedule thanks to this, the, the 5 p.m. start time that I gave it on both of the schedules for the weekdays and the weekends. And then I've given it a lower priority so that as soon as, as soon as a schedule that is, that physically has something going on, uh, as soon as something else is going on and it resets it, it will automatically play whenever the schedule is started to, to run for the night that you want to run your show with. So uh, I hope that was, uh, I hope that was a little helpful. There's one more thing that we're going to do with this, but I'm going to pause here and uh, stop the video and we'll take some questions in chat here.